بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں اٹ از لیکچر نمبر فورٹی ون آف بیسک اسٹیٹسٹکس کورس اینڈ ٹوڈے اٹ از کلاس تھری آف دا ٹاپک آف ڈیزائن آف ایکسپیریمنٹ ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس ون امپورٹنٹ اینڈ ٹیکنیکل نومیریکل ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچن فار فائنڈنگ دا ایرر سم آف اسکویئرس وین دا انوا ٹیبل آف دا سی آر ڈیزائن از گیون دیٹ از اے ویری امپورٹنٹ کانسیپٹ اینڈ دین وی ول ڈسکس وچ بیسک پرنسپل آف دا ایکسپیریمنٹ ڈیزائن از یوزڈ فار انکریزنگ دا ایفیشنسی آف دا ایکسپیریمنٹل ڈیزائن فار ریڈیوسنگ دا ایکسپیریمنٹل ایرر اینڈ فار میکنگ ہوموجینیس بلاکس اینڈ دین آئی ول ٹیل یو لوکل کنٹرول از یوزڈ ان وچ ایکسپیریمنٹل ڈیزائن اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ون اینڈ دین آئی ول ڈسکس وائی وی یوز بلاکنگ وائی وی یوز وائی وی میک ہوموجینیس بلاکس آف دا ایکسپیریمنٹل یونٹ اینڈ دین آئی ول ٹیل یو وچ بیسک پرنسپل از کمپلسری فار اینی ٹائپ آف ایکسپیریمنٹل ڈیزائن مو اینڈ مینی مور امپورٹنٹ ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچنس ول بی ڈسکس ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈیز امپورٹنٹ لیکچر I request everyone subscribe to my channel like and share my channel and click the bell icon for the notifications of the next important videos let's start question number 1 is the value of the error sum of squares in the given analysis of variance table that is given for completely randomized design is dear students we are to find error sum of squares it is error sum of squares we are to calculate this much let's it is x and you know it is variance of the treatment how do we get it we get it by dividing sum of squares by its treatments how will you get actually s square b it is achieved by treatment sum of squares divided by its degrees of freedom which is 4 it means that is given it is 3p 4 will be multiplied over here is equal to treatment sum of squares 3 multiplied by 4 is 12p is equal to treatment sum of squares it means i have got this much that is 12p but my target is to get x actually error sum of squares now how will you get this much mean square variance of the error term how do we get this the concept is it is achieved by dividing sum of squares of error divided by its degree of freedom and it is achieved by 9 minus 4 that is actually 5 it means s square e is error sum of squares divided by its degree of freedom which is 5 now it is given error sum of squares is given it is p which is also unknown error sum of squares divided by 5 5 will be multiplied over here 5p is equal to error sum of squares now we know that is the concept of the anova table total sum of squares this is total sum of squares it is 12p plus which is 5p 12p plus 5p is 17p 17p is equal to 425 if you divide 17 over there that will be 25 it means the value of p is 25 but our target is error sum of squares the value of the error sum of squares we are to find the value of the error sum of squares for the anova table of the completely randomized design and that is x we are to find this much how will you get it p multiply by 5 x is equal to p is 25 multiply by 5 125 will be the correct option in the exam a very important question for all the written test of statistics now question number 2 in experimental design randomization is necessary to make the estimates a accurate incorrect we are not to make accurate estimates with the help of the randomization be precise incorrect c biased no randomization means unbiased actually d valid yes this is the target in the last lecture i tell you 
that randomization is the process of applying the treatments randomly each treatment has an equal probability of being applied on the experimental unit and why do we use randomization for getting the valid estimates valid is the correct option please keep in mind question number three the principle used to estimate experimental error is a local control b randomization c blocking d replication i told you in the last lecture replication when we apply our treatment number of times several times various times on the experimental unit units then what happens experimental error is reduced that will be the correct option replication question number four experimental error is due to a experimenters mistake incorrect b variation in treatments incorrect c extraneous factors that is the source extraneous factors are the sources of the experimental error if it is raining on the plot of land it is an extraneous factor in it is the cause of experimental error a correct option is extraneous factors question number five a very important one to get an idea of the fertility conditions of a field the method used is a local control incorrect b replication incorrect c randomization incorrect d uniformity trials that is the correct option for checking the fertility of the fields uniformity trials is the correct option question number six local control in experimental design is meant to a increase the efficiency of the design b reduce the experimental error c to form homogeneous blocks d all of these all of these is the correct option local control is used to increase the efficiency of the design to reduce the experimental error and to make homogeneous blocks a very important one question number 7 local control helps to a reduce the number of treatments no incorrect b increase the number of plots incorrect c increase the error degree freedom incorrect d reduce the error variance yes that is the correct one eight question number local control is a device used to maintain a homogeneity among blocks b homogeneity within blocks that is the correct option homogeneity within blocks will be maintained by the local control if you have 15 plots of land and they are not same in fertility you will make the blocks then the variation within the blocks should be small and it is controlled by local control question number 9 local control helps in a reducing the experimental error b homogeneity of the experimental units c both a and b yes we have discussed it is done by local control question number 10 local control is absent in which of the following a completely randomized design b rcb randomized complete block design c latin square design dear students in completely randomized design there is no need of the local control it means cr design is the correct option question number 11 in designing an experiment blocking is used a to reduce bias b to reduce variation to control the level b is the correct option block is used to reduce the variation actually question number 12 which is the last question of today's lecture which of the following is must for any design of experiment a randomization replication and local control incorrect b randomization and local control incorrect c replication and local control incorrect d randomization and replication are must use they are needed for any type of the experimental design that is the correct option assalam o alaikum